please support my work and become a patron. Link is in the description. Previously on Flow, I leave Davenport, get caught in a rainstorm, have a tough portage, find some great rapids, and arrive in Keokuk. arrive in Keokuk and land at the Southside Boat Club where I would order a large pizza. After meeting the great people there they allowed me to stay out back and after a great night's sleep I woke to sunny skies and high winds but I was anxious to get back out on the river. There was only one thing I had to do first check my batteries. After arriving in Missouri a few miles downriver, the 35 mile an hour headwinds were getting to me. I headed for shore to take a rest. And well, this happened. But right when I was coming into this uh, boat ramp here, uh, I scared a carp and it jumped out of the water and hit me in the head and it pooped himself. Now I, I've seen that kind of stuff on uh, YouTube. I wish I'd have had the GoPro pointing at me at the time, but uh, wow, well, that freaked me out. So, uh, nothing like being hit in the head with a live carp. I about lost it. That was cool. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> this here is Perry Chisholm. And uh, he lives about a mile off the river in Tennessee. And uh, I met him up here right past the boat ramp where the camping is. And he's doing some sturgeon fishing. And he packages up the uh, caviar and he buys all he can up here. As I sat and watched the train, some rocks came in from overhead. It was from these kids. But their father came over and assured me that they did not see me and offered me his river shack to stay for the night. Illinois behind me as you can see I'm dealing with a lot of headwinds uh, not really moving that fast uh, getting held up at the uh, dam and I believe with this barge coming out ahead of me here I think I'm gonna be held up at the next dam as well so I probably won't make Hannibal tonight and I'm think that might be a good thing so if I go in the morning I'll have two full days and uh, that would be even better so uh, I'll get up close to uh, Hannibal tonight and uh, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. So I appreciate everybody that's been following along and supporting me. Uh, without you, it'd make it a lot more difficult. And uh, it's a beautiful day. Just wish these winds would get out of the way. Oh yeah, I took my jacket off as you can see. Uh, it got a little warm 
and I'm uh, paddling along and um, I said, man, I hope I don't run into a dead body. I mean, the stench was horrible. Then I realized it was me. <laughs> Coming into Quincy, the winds were high and the channel was filled with boat traffic. So I passed under the Memorial Bridge on the west side to avoid it. I came up on a barge parking area where there was two Army Corps of Engineer tugs renegotiating some barges, which churned up the already rough waters. Crossing over on the east side to go through the dam was impossible under the conditions, so I stayed on the east side and looked for a place to land. Due to the water levels being high, looking ahead, I saw what looked like a smooth way out. It looked as though the area west of the dam was flooded and I would have a smooth ride over shallow water. I was wrong and hit the spillway. There. Now on uh, this side of the lock, uh, there is no uh, overhang uh, for the uh, spillway. When I was going through the bay over there, there was four barges which churned it up like crazy plus the headwind. It was white knuckle all the way. I, I couldn't even take my hands, just one hand so I could record it. Uh, got over onto this side, it is as is, is calm a water as I could find in Hug the Coast, until I saw the lock and the dam was on that side. And I looked at it and said, there's no way I'm getting by there. And then I noticed this clear path, just beautiful water, straight across. I'm like, oh, it's flooded out. Great, I'll take it. But God answered my prayers. It was a spillway. I got up on that thing and went, holy moly. I gave it all I got, hit it, it couldn't have worked out perfect. I mean, man, I bossed that thing. It was pretty cool. I wouldn't do it again. Take the locks. Don't be stupid. But anyway, glad I made it through there. I found a nice little place here to take a rest. I'm going to put some calories in me and uh, see what I'm going to do the rest of the night. This headwind is... Ooh.